What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So this week I have a pretty much a color correction for you guys. So she has waited a little bit longer than you should when doing a bleach and tone. Um, I believe she probably waited maybe like two and a half months um, before getting her roots done. And so we are going to correctively uh, lighten the roots. And you can see that she used to kind of have highlights on the very ends of her hair. Um, and then she kind of slowly transitioned into a bleach and tone. So I'm going to try and hit some of those um, low lights that are in between those highlights on the very ends as I fix up her roots. Um, typically, if you have solid roots, you should be getting your roots done every four to six weeks, depending on how fast your hair grows. So for this corrective application, um, I first want to explain her hair texture. So she has, I would say like medium to fine hair texture, um, but she does have some gray hair and I could feel by the texture of her hair that her hair seems like it would lighten on like pretty well um, from like past experience of just feeling hair textures so I figured that the top um, whenever I do any type of corrective like bleach and tone like this I always feel like if I don't start on the top here um, and I start on the bottom nape area Sometimes when I reach the top, it takes forever for this top part to kind of process. Um, I believe it's because it sits on the top of the head. So a lot of the heat is not being like trapped like it would underneath all of the rest of the hair. So everything like in the nape or below the occipital, um, it starts to kind of get some heat from just like your natural body heat. So I believe that that kind of helps it process a little bit quicker. So I just did a few sections on the very top just so um, it gives it time because it's the top of the head and I feel like it, the heat doesn't really distribute or get caught there as well it does, as it does back here. So I did just a few pieces on the very top to kind of um, get everything even and I lined the sides. And so now I'm going in after I've done a few sections on the very top and starting from the nape now. And as I'm doing this, the way that I recently like to do my platinum card application is I will just take very thin, paper thin slices like so and just make sure that they're very see-through. And I just lay foils right on top of each other. I don't fold them, I feel like this saves so much time and it gives me a lot of control as well so another key thing for this type of technique that i've noticed is the lightener so i needed a lightener for this type of application since we're not folding the foils i'm technically not locking my foils in so if the lightener was a lightener that expands or makes the foil slip or anything like that or make the foils move at all um, then we can run into problems because um, the foils will start slipping and then you can start overlapping so i needed a lightener that was going to stay put exactly where i put it but also be very gentle on the hair and for that i am using the pulperite cream bleach this bleach is probably my favorite bleach to use for any type of bleach and tone or any type of lightening service where i have to be very meticulous and exact because wherever i paint this cream bleach i am pretty confident that it's going to stay put wherever i put it so i don't have to worry about this lightener expanding i don't have to worry about the foils slipping or anything like that um, usually whenever i use this lightener so i do often use this lightener a lot for like bleach and tones like just like my average bleach and tones um, another reason why I really love this bleach is because it is made to be super gentle on the scalp So it's really good for clients who get lightener on the scalp And then the other thing that I really love is that it's white So um, I don't have to like second guess myself 
um, when it's ready like you can see clearly when it's ready um, because it's white it just makes it a little easier to see the exact level of hair another thing that I would like to note is that I could have um, just done the application like off root and then hit the root I used to do it that way but I find that this technique is a little bit quicker so the reason why this is able to lift more evenly and I don't have to do off root before just hitting the root is because we're taking really thin slices here. So piling on these sections on top of each other is going to help trap in the heat um, and kind of just like as if I was highlighting her hair basically, that's what um, is going to help lift it and um, taking a really thin slice like that really does help and distribute all the product and heat so that everything kind of lifts as even as possible. So once I reached about her ears, I started to take a center parting. Um, if you watched my other videos when I do like my balayage or foliage or any type of highlighting, lately I have been loving taking a center parting of the head. Um, because it saves time opposed to splitting the back into two sections I'm able to do the back in just one section and then I'll meet the rest of the sides all in one go And it just saves me so much time to just do this back section in one So you can also see since I'm taking really thin slices I can also see the banding in the where the highlights were so I am going in and trying to hit some of those ends where it's like random spots of dark hair um, that's because she previously had highlights and um, whenever you do highlights and try to convert back into a solid bleach and tone this is very common to have these black spots um, because it takes sessions to fully get out all of the dimension from your highlights safely um, so I don't believe whoever did her hair did a bad job I feel like they did a pretty good job at getting her really even um, but those spots there are just there I mean it's very common it happens um, a lot and it just honestly it just takes sessions to fully get out so I feel like whoever did her hair before the bleaching part um, wasn't a bad job even though like we are correcting those highlights at the end it's very common that those will be there until like a few sessions go by and you slowly get those out because you really want to be careful with those ends with the dimension um, so that you don't have any breakage and that is also something that I do like to explain to my clients. Like let's say a client is used to being a bleach and tone and is like considering doing highlights. I always let them know that this is a possibility that might happen if they do highlights and then decide to switch back to being a solid blonde. It does take sessions to get back to being solid and sometimes it's never perfectly perfect. And if um, the dimension is too hard to get rid of, sometimes you just have to grow those pieces out. So that center parting, I just took it up to pretty much the top of the head. So now I'm going in and finishing up the sides here. And you can see I'm able to take the front side section all in one go and meeting that center back parting. Um, so technically her whole head, the sectioning is just three sections. So there's one section in the back and then one section on the right side and one section on the left side, opposed to splitting the back section into two and having four in total. So it just saves you a lot of time, especially when you're doing an application really meticulous like this, when you're doing something that's like super paper thin and you need to be super careful yet super fast. I feel like this is super efficient and also I like that it makes everything very clean. Um, so if I need to go back in and recheck my saturation, because everything is separated by an individual foil, like through paper thin slices, it's really easy for me to just touch something up on one section. And um, I have full confidence when doing this type of application that it's gonna lift really even because we are taking such thin paper, paper slices. 
I also want to mention that even though I was pretty confident this is going to live pretty even, I do tell my clients that there is a possibility that it might because everyone's hair is different. Um, I still told her that it might not lift evenly just in case it didn't, um, but normally this application, if you take a thin enough slice, it does. Um, but again, it just depends on the hair and the like how dense the hair is and how coarse it is. Um, let's say if she had like super thick coarse hair um, that was like a level 2, maybe it might not lift 100% even. But in my experience from doing various different like uh, platinum card applications, I feel like this one gives the most even and clean result. So this application probably took me just a little bit over an hour to get through. Um, obviously, I have an assistant mixing up my color and cutting my foils, foils for me. So I was able to get it, um, get through it pretty quickly. And after like I was done foiling her and everything, I just let her process at room temperature. I didn't put any heat on her because I wanted to be super careful with her hair since her hair wasn't super coarse or anything and I had good confidence that it would lift well, I just kind of left it um, at room temperature. So I just want to show you guys really quick. So when I feel like a section is ready, we pulled out the foils and just kind of married everything together. So I haven't rinsed the back part yet. We just pulled out the foils, kind of smushed everything together, made sure that everything is looking relatively even. I would say for how long her roots were and how naturally dark she is, this is really even. Um, normally, if I were to do any type of other application, I feel like you would see some sort of band at least. But for her hair, I barely see a band at all. Um, and then once everything was ready, we pretty much rinsed. So we rinsed the back out and then we pulled out the front foils here. Let this sit for, I want to say I kept watching it like every couple minutes to make sure that it was lifting really well but i would say i was super happy with the way that her hair lifted and because we used the pulbright cream bleach her scalp was super good like she didn't feel sensitive at all she was very comfortable um, during this whole process Another thing that I do want to mention too is by taking out the foils before rinsing it out and letting it sit like this, I'm able to kind of see if I've missed any spots. So sometimes if I see that some area is not lifting as well as the other or if there's like a little band, I will go ahead and just put like a fresh patch of lightener on certain areas to kind of just even it out while the rest is processing. Um, and another thing that I want to know is I'll start pulling out the foils to let it process like this once it reaches like a level nine um, because I feel like it gives it enough time to kind of help process and it also gives it me enough time to put on fresh product to get everything even again okay so I didn't get this part on film because we were just so busy um, but I pre-toned her with the rapid toners so her goal was to be kind of like this green rooted silver um, so the end she wanted it silver and she wanted this beautiful green at the root so we decided to pre-tone her with the Pulbright rapid toners I used violet silver and moonstone to create her silver and i always like to make my silvers a little bit more on the violet side so that they don't fade green and they fade pretty um so i already pre-toned her with the rapid toner let that sit on for like 10 minutes we washed it out we um blow dried her and got her ready for the semi that my assistant jen is now putting on her root so for her semi formulation we did a combination it was mostly decoy and absinthe fly trap and a little bit of clear and this was creating like a beautiful light green i had never mixed up a green like this the picture her like her insta picture that she showed me was super unique and at first i wasn't really sure how it was going to look on her but she was so sad she really loved and wanted this color so of course i delivered and mixed up the color that she wanted and i'll show you guys at the very end with her afters but i was so surprised how much i liked it um because 
it's just a, such a uncommon color combination that I wasn't sure how it was going to look but I ended up really liking the way that the green complemented the silver at the end um, but yeah after Jen was pretty much done putting this semi green on her root we let this process for about like 20 minutes and then rinsed her with some ice cold water and then blow dry and styled her Alrighty guys, so here is the finished look. You can see how beautiful that green like just melts into this like silver that we created with the rapid toners. I was honestly so happy with the way that this came out. You can still see just like the slightest bit of banding on her ends there. Um, like I said, it's not going to be completely perfect because she had previous highlights, but nonetheless as we go and do her roots i'll be able to slowly get it out and get it more even on the ends but i really was concerned about like preserving and keeping the health of her hair and not breaking anything off so that is why that part is going to be a process but she absolutely loved this color and it made me so happy to see how excited and happy she was that um, i really enjoyed doing this transformation Alrighty guys, that is it for this week's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. I really hope you guys like this transformation. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, leave me a comment down below. But as always, I will talk to you guys next week.